it's Sean here from the Scale Model Car Guy channel and today's video is going to be an update on uh, Seamus's and I we have a buddy build going on with we've been building the trumpeter GT 40s let me show you the box of that big box this is the kit that uh, we have been building for our buddy build it's the trumpeter uh, 112 scale GT 40 and this is delivery that uh, me and Seamus both have decided to build which would be the Ken Miles's car uh, he come in second in the 1966 Le Mans and uh, of course y'all saw probably seen the movie and everything and stuff but and then uh, then I have a uh, mail call and then I have uh, stash ads here from uh, a recent uh, antique store find which uh it's not a uh, you know as big as you know the ones i've been getting but uh but it's a small little find and a pretty cool little find and uh some of y'all like it but uh <clears throat> so uh before we get this video started let me i'd just like to thank all my subscribers all my very old loyal subscribers all my new subscribers what for y'all i wouldn't have a channel and i wouldn't be doing this and uh with that being said, uh, here in a day or so, I'll probably make another video. My son, he, uh, he's, a uh, well, he'll soon be 31, but, uh, he has his, uh, fixing to start his own channel. And, uh, when I get his link and everything and stuff, and once he gets up and going, uh, I'm going to give him a shout out. So hopefully y'all will subscribe to him. And, uh, he's into the, uh, the uh, bolt action warhammer you know the war game inside and uh he is into the military as far as tanks planes you know and stuff like that uh that's the type, type builds he likes to do and uh so hopefully for too long we'll get him up and going and uh he's the one that taught me into doing it and then i was like well, why don't you do your own channel you know and he just never have never have but now he's decided he's going to so but like I said, once he gets it up, I'll get back with y'all on that. But, uh, all right, mail call. Today, I got the long-awaited, look at this, Vix Miniatures right there, guys. I'm going to leave a description below on his, uh, his channel. And uh, if you're not subscribed to him, please get over there and subscribe to him. Vic, he is awesome. He lives up in Oregon. And he does everything. He does, looks like, like that right there, the Three Musketeers. He does dioramas. He does bust. Uh, he does the war gaming. Uh, he does the military dioramas. I mean, this guy can do anything. Uh, and then he also does automobiles. He just recently started that up. He once told me, he says, I was kind of an inspiration for him to start on the automobiles. And, uh, thank you, Victor. I'm glad I could help you do something. It don't look like you need much help, but I'm, <laughs> yeah, you don't need much help. You're good, brother. Uh, way better than I'll ever be. And, man, these busts are just, man, you and Gab both. Man, y'all can sure paint some busts. All right, so, y'all get over there and subscribe to him if you're not. I'm sure most of us in the community are. But if you're not in our community and you just come by and comment every once in a while or just, just watch our videos, please go subscribe to him. All right. <clears throat> My son, he was at, uh, I think he was at a hobby shop in Little Rock, Jacksonville, somewhere. And uh, he bought me this right here. He knew I didn't have it. And I'd been wanting it. I just hadn't got around to getting it. And, uh. That's a pretty neat kit. That's in the vintage box art, you know. That was that was done back in the, <clears throat> I guess, late '60s, '70s. I don't know when they originally come out. Uh, one thing cool about this kit is it comes with green tinted glass in it. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, 
And of course, you know, it's got the white walls and the slicks. And, you know, y'all know the nine yard behind that. But I needed that in my collection. I will eventually build that. Pretty cool kit. Okay. And then I was at a, a antique shop. And, man, I got this thing super dog cheap. I know you can go to Hobby Lobby right now and buy it. But not for the price I could pay for that. It was super cheap. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Al Woods. Charlie Mack, all y'all, y'all talk about gentleman scale all the time. Well, this next lot, that's all it is, is gentleman scale. The very first one is, it's a Newport 28. That's a World War I plane. Uh, and it's originally from, it's a, it's an old kit. It's a vintage kit. It's from 1966. Uh... You can see the little price tag maybe on there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of faded out. I thought that says 43 cents. But very cool plane. 1966. Everything's still there. And then this in here is Gentleman's Scale. And it is a Hawk kit. And it is a Douglas Dauntless SBD-5. Look at there. You can see that. There's the side of the box art. Pretty cool kit. I get five dollars a piece for these kits, guys. Alright, and here is a, another vintage reveal. It's a Pola Cub Pob. I don't know. Y'all guys, I don't know uh what the hell that is right there. Y'all can tell me what it <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just old Arkansas Hillbilly. I can't do that. Uh, but it's gentleman scale, and uh, the date on this box, 1964, 1964, $5, alright, and this one here is another gentleman scale, and this one here, it's also Revell, 1966, it is a Fiat CR42 Falco. Pretty nice looking plane. Five dollars. How many times I'm going to say five dollars? Y'all keep a counter up there. How many times I say five dollars? All right. This here, I've never even heard of this company. Gentleman Scale. Man, I don't even know. It's made in... Czech Republic, so that'll tell you something right there. It's a Boeing P 26A. Right here, this one's not that old compared to those other kits. I'm not seeing a date here. Let's see. I don't see a date on this one, guys, but it's got the Stevens International, whatever. I don't even know what the heck that is right there, but. Uh, I don't think it's a price tag because there's no price that I know of. But this is the uh, maker of it right here. I, I don't know who that is. It's P-A-V-L-A. -A. I think that's what it says. Uh, but it's a pretty cool kit. It even comes... I'm going to open this one up because uh, it even has uh, resin parts in it right here. Uh you know, there's not a lot of parts to it, it being 172nd scale, you know, gentleman scale. But you can see, look at all them resin parts. Resin engine, I don't even know what half that stuff is. Wheels, uh, $5. Y'all gonna get tired of hearing me say $5. Alright, and this one here, I don't think this one's just real. I mean, it's older, but it's, it's not that old. Let's see, 1979 on this one. This is the Memphis Bell B-17E, 1972, still sealed. Gentleman scale. There you go, guys. Let you have a look at that. And, uh, well, the price is kind of marked out of it right there, but it wasn't very much. There you go. That's the reason why you hit antique shops, flea markets, guys. I, I know I've stressed that a million times, and I know a lot of y'all say, I never find nothing. Well, you know, you don't always find stuff. But 
those places they have vendors that come in and out they go all the time so just because you don't find something one week you know one day you could go every day for a month you don't find nothing you slack off a month or two you go in there and you find something you just don't know that's why i'm always stressing I always hit your antique and flea markets especially in bigger cities and bigger towns i mean that's that's usually where i always always score but uh you can still find good deals in the smaller towns too but but yeah always hit those places and uh, I've rambled long enough. I'm going to turn this around here and show you what I, I got a mock up on it. I'm not totally done with this. I still got a long ways to go, but I'll show you what I've gotten done. All right, this is this is my mock up right here, guys. I got such a mess on this desk, but this is what I've gotten marked mocked up so far. You can see, got the door tape shut. Everything's just kind of shut together there you can see how big this vehicle is it's huge i painted the uh the front eyebrows i masked those off that's painted uh i made a template and painted those got the seat belts in there y'all can see that i still got a lot to do to this kit and everything will come apart here which i'll show you in just a second and i'll show you these wheels so you can see that right there. I painted the uh, blue lines on it with Tamiya acrylic blue. I don't know if y'all can see those real good or not. Then those are decals right there on the wheels. Put that back on there. Maybe. And then uh, let's pop this off right here. You can see back here, it's just all mocked up. That's not on there. Or it's just on there. Uh, I got the distributor from Seamus. Uh, let's see if I can get something to point here. Uh, I got the distributor from Seamus. I wired it up. You can see I did the red wires right there. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see down in here take this wheel off here maybe there we go see down in here I got the uh, springs painted red these little air boxes still ain't glued down I'm gonna pull those off so as you can see in here you can see I got all the braided lines run I got the springs here uh, you can see back off in here let's take that wheel off start taking stuff off here uh, got a lot of stuff. I, this is not this is not glued down or screwed down. None of this stuff. Uh, the body to it, any of that's done. It's just like I said, it's just mocked up. I got some photo etch part right here. Uh, like I got stuff to put here. I got the little air, intercoolers right here. I got to wire all that up. It's got so much stuff, you know, to still do on it. Uh, the doors are just taped shut. They're not even on it. Uh, let's see. This right here comes off. This whole front piece, both those come off. Let's see. Let's take that off, show you all that. There's the front end of it. You can see right here, I don't have the uh, steering arm. None of that stuff on. I still got all this stuff to build in here. Uh yeah that's really about where i'm at guys it's like i said that right there comes off because it's not uh i gotta still open it all uh, I, a lot of stuff to do but this is where i'm at guys i gotta put a good clear coat on it uh i got a lot of stuff to do i did get the dash part done of it right there you can see i don't know how well you can see it but there's the dash uh, I just got all kinds of little stuff. I think like this right here, if you can see. It will go on here like this somewhere. Uh, there is just so much stuff. This here will go on the inside of that. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry. I don't know what much else to say. Uh, I'm not as far along as Seamus. 
he's pretty much buttoning his up i still gotta pull this all back apart i got a lot of stuff still to do to it but but as far as my painting i'm pretty much done um <clears throat> yeah put the glass in it paint around it stuff like that but that's where i'm at that's the uh, 112 scale by ming uh it's not the best kit i mean it's not ming i'm sorry uh trumpeter it's not the best kit and i'm sure the ming kit's a way lot better but this was only 120 dollars where the ming kit's 450 dollars so that's the reason why i'm building this kit all right guys please like share and subscribe